Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Mule Bytes. In this video, we'll learn how to design your API with confidence. Myself, Akshita Savant, and I'm working as Senior Developer Advocate at Salesforce. So let's get started. If you think designing an API is a tedious job and you need to know a lot about best practices, syntax, API programming languages, then your perspective is about to be changed. Because you need not be an expert to design an API, but you definitely need to brush up some basic skills. Even if you're someone who has never designed an API before and this is the first time, you can still design a perfect API. All you need to do is just familiarize yourself with some basic concepts, like what are the different types of APIs, whether it could be a REST API or a SOAP API, what are the different types of API programming languages like the RAML, RESTful API Modeling Language or the OS, Open API Specification. So you need to choose between which API design types, API specification language you want to work with. And you can also familiarize yourself with what are the different types of protocols like HTTP, HTTPS protocol, what are the different uh, methods like get, post, put, delete, the response types and the body formats. Uh, also some of the data types like XML and JSON. And with all these things, you're actually good to go and design an API. Now that we have seen what are the prerequisites, let us get into API design. What do we actually mean by API design and how to design a perfect API? Let's get into it. Designing an API is a first step to building your API based application. In this stage, we'll actually create a prototype of how our API is expected to work. Uh, for this, you can take an example of an architect who's trying to build the layout of his building. He'll first draft or sketch the layout of his building. He'll then simulate it using some 3D modeling tool, and then he'll share these designs with the collaborators for further feedback. We'll be following the similar approach while we're designing our API. First, we'll design our API using the design center on our AnyPoint platform. And then in the same design center, we'll simulate our API or mock our API endpoints and see what is the response request and if it is meeting our standards. Once we have simulated the API, we will share our API with the collaborators. We can also publish them over Exchange to get some more feedback and share with the external collaborators basically. So we are incorporating all this feedback in our API. And if you see this, all things like all the stages, they're actually the stages of an API lifecycle. So we are following an API lifecycle and all of this is an iterative process. Now let's head over to AnyPoint platform and see how to design our first API. Let's get into it. We are on AnyPoint platform, MuleSoft's iPaaS tool for managing the entire API lifecycle. Let us head over to Design Center to design our first API. We'll click Create new API specification and give our API a project name. If you are someone who's pro at designing API and if you're comfortable designing your own API, you can just go ahead and select your API specification language as to RAML or OS. But today we will use a guided approach and design our API. So now we need to fill in all the information related to our API. Let us start by giving our API a title. We'll give in the version number. We will also select the protocols and media type. We can also give some description as to what this API actually does. So yes, this API fetches some customer information from the backend. We can go ahead and define some resources. We can give them a resource path or a resource name. And as you can see, this is the get method which we have defined. We will further go ahead and define some responses. We'll add some body to this response and further add some examples to the response body. We can also define some query parameters for our API endpoint. So now we will be fetching out all the information based on this query parameter. If you see on your right hand side, an API has been already generated for you, you do not have to design any API. 
You also get two options, RAML and OS, and you can switch between the two. Once your API is designed, you can go ahead and further try this API or basically mock the endpoint. Here I'll enter customer ID and click send. And yes, this response is as per my expectation. Once my API is designed, I'll go ahead and share this API with collaborators, internal or external, or publish this API over Exchange. So this constitutes of my entire API, and you have seen how easy it was to design an API within minutes. So you have seen how easy it was to design an API even for a newbie. One pro tip. If you are concerned about the API design best practices and standards, you need not worry. You can just head over to any point exchange where we have several REST API templates. You can download any of these templates and import them and use them as a reference. It's easy, right? I have listed down a few resources that might be actually helpful while you're designing your first API. Also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe our channel and like this video. And you can also check out the entire of MuleBuy's playlist for more information on latest tools and resources to supercharge your skills. Thanks for watching.